What's up guys, Joey here. I found the fix for File Explorer lagging, at least on my system, with uh, when you have multiple windows open and you'll have like one in the background, maybe a browser or a media player, and you'll open a second window and when you go to drag it, it'll move in slow motion like this. Oh, it's doing it now. Uh, and it, sometimes it takes a while to kick in this bug. And you can see here, I've already let go of the mouse and it's moving in slow motion. And I shared the fix in ultra wide because my native resolution is 3440 by 1440. But I had a bunch of people that said they couldn't see the font. So I'm just recreating this video to help those guys out and hopefully cut the duration down because I, I was a bit excited and I rambled on a bit too much. So anyway, all you need is this tool called Win Arrow Tweaker. There is a manual way to do this. Um, because WinArrow Tweaker tells you it's it's basically a tweaking tool for Windows that will do the registry edits or whatever needs to be done to make the changes uh, for you. But the good thing about this tool is that it's only two megabytes and it has information on whatever it's going to do to your system. So I'll give you an example. I'll just download it. Uh, I'll put this link down in the comments below. I'm just going to literally re reinstall the tool uh, so you can see it live. So just downloads. And if you don't have an extracting program, Windows should have a built-in one. You can just right-click it and go to Extract All. And that'll let you basically, it'll default to extracting it into the same name folder in your directory where you've saved this. And you can see this annoying bug, it's doing it still. So extract. I've disabled the, um, the fix so that you guys can see that I do have the bug even at 1080p. And so you want to run setup.exe. And it'll give you two options, normal mode, which just installs it like a normal program, or portable mode, which just puts all the files into a single folder, and it won't give you any shortcuts in your start menu. So depending on which one you want, I prefer portable mode, because then I can just delete the thing after I'm done with it. It does not make any, like, apart from the changes it makes, it doesn't need to be installed on your system. It doesn't have to be running for these fixes to work. Okay? So we'll go portable mode, accept, and... Same thing, just straight into its own folder. I think that went into a programs folder, actually. So C, C drive. No, wait, it went into my programs folder here. So WinArrow Tweaker. So, you know, wherever you've extracted it to. And this is it. This is the tool here. Double click it. And I'll show you under Windows 11 to fix the lagging File Explorer slow motion mouse bug, which is especially bad if you have a 1000 hertz polling rate on your mouse. If it's a gaming mouse, you just have to enable the old ribbon because the bug is caused by this material or something to do with File Explorer's new header, um, the material they're using. Kind of like if you if you know Windows, um, the older Windows, they had like WinArrow when that first came out that was causing performance issues. It's something to do with what they've done to File Explorer. And see this new menu here at the top? Um, the changes somehow are bugged. Uh, they're not bugged in the dev build, but they're bugged in the current uh, 22,194 build. So you just enable this old ribbon in File Explorer and hit Restart Explorer, and that will basically give you the old context menus and the old header, which don't lag. They don't have the problem. So I'll just do it now. And when I start File Explorer, you can see here I've got the old view back. So if I want to have my, you know, I actually love this shortcut menu because uh, I use it a lot. And I find this better than the new one. And you can see here it's gone dark black, uh, the header of File Explorer. And now the bug is gone. I can maximize the window. And that's it. That's the fix. It's, it's, it's that simple. Uh, you just have to click that. And if you're wondering what the tool is doing, every single change you can make, there's actually a ton of cool tweaks in here. Every change you can make has a see in detail how this tweak works button. So you can click that and it'll actually give you a description of exactly what this fix is doing to your system. And it's actually doing a registry edit for you. So you don't have to enter the registry, um, you know, doing it manually. So you don't actually need to use this tool. If you want this link, I'll put this down in the comments below. You can actually just go into the registry and make these changes on your own. Uh, you do have to be careful though, because you don't want to accidentally uh, copy and paste like you don't want to miss one of the values and you can end up uh, damaging your registry. So, you know, I find the tool is a safer method. But if you're confident uh, to make registry edits, you can literally just use the, the information provided here to do the tweak. 
Uh, they've also got alternative methods in there because I know that some of the older methods don't work anymore, which is part of the reason I didn't get this fixed sooner because the old methods that people are suggesting when you search in Google don't actually work. Um, so whatever this tool is doing, it's using one of the working methods. Um, yeah, for lack of a better description. And there's also one other tweak I wanted to share, which is really cool. If you're like me, you're an old school user and you're used to having your right click menu. Uh, like, see, I don't really care for any of this new look. Um, I like to be able to go show more options. And I like this menu where I can go to, you know, Radeon software if I want to open that. And it's just annoying having that extra click. Uh, the same if you want to extract something and you normally use a different extracting tool like 7-Zip, you have to click show more 7-Zip. And this tool actually has an option to restore the classic context menus. And it works the same way. You just check the box, restart Explorer. And now when I go into my downloads folder, I can go here and it's just back to the old, you know, I can just go straight to extract here. I don't have to, yeah. I don't have to stuff around with it. So you can see there, Winero Tweaker just went straight into that folder. And yeah, um, that's that's the fix. So I hope that helps some of you out and it fixes your issue. Um, and hopefully they fix, uh, there's one more bug with Windows 11 where there's high latency on Ryzen CPUs. If you're not aware of it, uh, Google it. It's an L3 cache latency issue where instead of 10 NS, you're getting 30 NS and really poor read and write speeds uh, with the L3 cache. And AMD and Microsoft have both said they're working on a fix that should be out this month uh, for the beta and the release previews. So yeah, I just wanted to give people a heads up on that. Not everyone knows about it. Uh, it doesn't affect gaming performance in AAA titles, but if you're running competitive titles like Valorant, there's a performance hit due to that bug. So yeah, um, take care guys and see you in the next video. Bye.